Hey guys, it's Dakari Holder here, and I'm back to talk about some recent pickups. Now, I just want to say I never got a chance to tell you guys Happy New Year. It's not new anymore, but Happy Belated uh, New Year, I guess. And uh, tell me down below in the comments, how's 2017 going for you guys? Because it's going pretty darn cool for me. As you can see here, I have two... Uh, Shaw Brothers films, actually films, that I wanted for the longest time, and that is The Brave Archer Part 2 and The Brave Archer Part 3. Now, I do have the first part uh, on Tokyo Shock, and uh, Part 2 and 3 weren't originally released, or, or weren't officially released uh, in the U.S., so I had to get these uh, little, if you want to call them bootlegs, off of eBay. So... They're in, uh, I mean, they're not lying when they say it's digitally restored and remastered. Because it has really nice, uh, image quality and audio quality. So, yeah. I've never seen part two or three, but I've seen the first one and the fourth one. I do have the fourth one, but, uh, I think I left that one in storage because that movie is not that great. But I have part two, as you can see here. And I have part three. Now this came out like I think three years after the first one. This one came out in 1981. This one came out a year after the first one, 1978. The first one came out in 77. So Brave Archer is celebrating its 40th anniversary this year. So I will be doing some reviews on these movies except for the fourth one because I do not like that one. But I will definitely be watching these as soon as I can. And the spines kind of match, too. Check them out. Pretty cool, huh? Yeah, not bad for bootlegs. Now, here's something that I wanted for the longest time. And that is a Tribe Called Quest second album, The Low End Theory. Which is, in my opinion, one of the best hip-hop albums of all time. Not, one, not just one of the best hip-hop albums. One of the best albums, period. Um... <clears throat> Now, I've been wanting this record for the longest ever since I listened to tracks of this album repeatedly on Spotify, and I was just so hooked, and I finally have it. I, I just gotta thank my mom for handing this to me. I really appreciate it, and I think this is a 2LP set, but what I dislike about the packaging is that it's not in a gatefold. Like, I wish that... If they would release this as a gatefold, and then they would have the, um, uh, a, and on the gatefold, they would have, like, a, we open it up, you'd see the picture of, uh, the tribe, uh, like, in the, was it the greenish, yellowish, and freaking uh, reddish lighting? They were in, they are in that type of lighting, and, you know, it's just something like that. I wish they had a gatefold for this but thing, but, no, it was kind of stupid, but it's a 2LP, and... I mean, just wow. I'm really happy to have it. The labels are kind of plain, but oh well. Yep. And uh, I think my most favorite track on this album has to be Butter. There it is. Because Five Dog, he delivers some of his intelligent and most just repeatable rhymes I've ever heard on a rap song in my entire life. And, uh, of course they're going to be in good condition, because, uh, it was new. I got it at Barnes & Noble, so, yeah. So, that was my little short update video. Hope you guys are having a good 2016 so far. And I'll be coming up with more reviews, and especially album reviews on my channel. So, stay tuned, and you guys have a blessed day.